So I've wanted to know for quite a while how long a UPS will last on a 3D printer. So let's get started. Hey guys, so in that moment we are being played by uh, load shedding in South Africa. If you don't know what load shedding is, it's a uh, system that the government puts in or the, the electricity the company puts in uh, where they shed load of certain areas because there's not enough power to supply. And South Africa, we've got a huge problem with ESCOM. They um, are under supplying, so we get hit by load shedding quite often. And that load shedding can happen quite without warning. We sometimes get only about an hour's worth of warning. So I have wanted to know forever, how long will a, U a 3D printer last on a UPS uh, machine here? Now I've got a 1200 watt UPS here. And I'm just gonna try this out. I will tell you, I have not tried this yet. I wanted to try this on camera with you guys seeing how long it will last and when this print will fail. So I've started a print here. It's a two hour long print. And uh, let me turn this printer. I'm printing down on my trusty Ender 3, uh, the V2 version and it is printing away with this dog here and we'll see what happens now i'm going to do a test here where i will turn the ups off okay we'll see how long uh we'll see if it actually takes over the 3d printer and the 3d printer does not hick up so that's the first part of the test and then the second part is i'll put a timer on and we'll see how long it lasts I recently bought a generator, 7 kVA generator, to, um, and I wired it into my home system so that my home will be taken over by the generator, but it's a manual process and I don't want this 3D print to stop while um, I'm doing that switch over. So this test will tell me how long I've got to switch over to the generator so that I don't lose my print. Because there's nothing worse than you being 95% of the way through a, a two day print and all of a sudden the power fails and there goes your print. You cannot, uh, you know, you can recover with, with power recovery, but there's always a blotch or a poor layer that, that it does on that spot. So I really am quite excited about testing this out. I've asked this question, I've never gotten a proper answer. And I'm hoping that this little test will show a lot of people out there what, uh, how much time we got. I hope you can see my little timer here. So I'm going to uh, take the power out of the UPS. Now this is going to get loud. This UPS has a fan built in that is extremely loud when uh, the power drops out. I don't think the fan helps the situation of keeping it alive longer. But let's first see what happens when we unplug it. I'm going to start the stopwatch as I unplug in three, two, one. Right, there we go. Now the UPS is running. It's taken over from the, uh, from the power and it's running on the UPS and there wasn't a skip. There was no skip in beat or anything. It just carried on printing. So this bodes well for our test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this printing. I'll adjust the camera down to, to, to where it is and I'll hyperlapse through this and we'll see how long we last. It'll be very interesting to see. <laughs> no. There we go. Okay, so we've got our first minute without interruption. This should give me enough time to go and start my generator, but I'm just going to let this until this starts beeping and then I'll know that we're getting low. I'll see you shortly.
Hey guys, I'm back. This is going a lot better than I expected. We are still printing. We've been going for nearly half an hour, 30 minutes. So this is looking quite promising, eh? I'm, I'm impressed and excited. Excuse how red I look. It is extremely hot today. So yes, okay, let's carry on. And there we have it, we have a result. So we got 52 extra minutes out of our printer with the power out on this UPS. This UPS was fully charged. Um, so, you know, if you've got 45 minutes left of your print when uh, load shedding hits, then you should have enough time. So uh, it, it adds as a good buffer on your printer that will give you time to create an alternate solution, like in my case, where I will uh, print, I will start up my generator, get that running, and my print will just continue. The UPS will will continue charging off the off the generator, and everything will be running. So this is a viable solution to you if you've got. You want to make sure that you've calculated your time of your print, and you're not sure if you're quite going to make the load shed, and you don't want to cut off as the load shed happens. You can get yourself a 1,200 watt uh, UPS connect it up and you'll get an about 45 to 52 minutes, which I think is actually not bad. That exceeded my expectations by quite a long way. By the way, this print here that I've done here is printed in SA filament. This stuff is, is amazing. It's a beautiful filament, very, very consistent diameter. I'm very pleased with this. So look out for in the near future, I'll be doing a review on the SA filaments for their PLA and PETG. Uh, very pleased to, to use their product and, uh, to get some some sample rolls from them stuff is amazing i love it so guys there we go so you know just to, to sum up we can use a ups on a 3d printer it does give you a bit of a buffer so i uh, think about it maybe get a bigger one at 2000 or a 3000 watt uh, ups will give you a bit more time maybe get last year the two hours of the load shed because in south africa our load shed lasts about two hours but other places in the world, if you have a power failure and your power comes back up before you know 50 or so minutes, you're going to be saved and you're not going to lose a print. So I think it's absolutely worth it to give it a chance to try and save your print so you don't lose those, especially those long haul prints. Even a small print like this is, is a loss. If you throw this away, you, uh, well, you could continue. You can see the large divot that the uh, nozzle put onto that. So. Yeah, I, I do believe that this is, has got a place in 3D printing. UPSs, they do work. Uh, it's not as long as I was hoping. Well, as long as I was, I was hoping, but further than I expected. So just keep that in mind. Guys, I just want to give a special shout out to two of my Patreons. Uh, Kelly from um, uh, Let's Get Clacking. Kelly has got a lovely website, uh, a YouTube channel. Go check it out below in my description below. And Don, of course, uh, from uh, Three Drone. Don has been a supporter of the, of the channel for a while, and I really appreciate your thing. Go check out Three Drone.co.za. Great supplier of 3D prints and 3D parts. Guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm hoping to get a better production running, going again and getting uh, those, these videos out. 
Stay well, subscribe to the channel. Um, I will be putting more videos out more often. I'm looking forward to winter so much. It is so, so hot at the moment. So really looking forward to winter. Have a great one. Stay safe, be well, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.